Okay, welcome to uh, Calouse Robotics Welding. Uh, in this video, we'd like to walk you through what would take place um, in a pursuit for a robotic welding project where fixturing is required. Um, basically, we want to walk through the steps of how we would work with our fixture supplier here. And, and uh, Kyle will give the viewpoint from what he has to do and his company has to do. Um, me, I've been in this industry 35 years plus alongside welding and cutting. I'm a mechanical individual and quite enjoy this subject area alongside robotics and welding. So, Kyle, about okay. yourself if I may. All right. Well, I'm Kyle Staley I'm with Staley Company. I've been in the industry for about 30 years myself uh, and had this business for a little bit about 17 years. Uh, the main focus of our business is the design and build of tooling for welding, whether that be manual or whether that be robotic. Um, it is the, the main focus that we that we shoot for. We've had previous experience in automotive industries. Uh, we transitioned into general industries and power sports. And there are a lot of things that go into a fixture of this complexity, but at the same time, we can offer simple tooling as well. So in the simplest form, an inquiry would come on the horizon of Cluse by whatever means, exhibitions, advertising, whatever, or you even know us, that's fine. So the front end, people like me and applications engineers, first of all, the front end would engage and we'd meet with your people. Ideally, you would share the people that have the skill sets that know what's required. You might not have ever done a robot before. That's, that's perfectly okay. Uh, we have done lots of robot welding cells, so we know what it takes to go from hand welding scenario through to a fully robotic automation scenario and we've both done it many times so we'd ask that you put up the key players that have the knowledge and the influence to shape what you require in the uh, automation robotization of your products 